This simple math problem is going to confuse a lot of people. Let's see if you can solve it. So what we have here is a bike, and of course we have a gear here, right? So this is the gear, and here is the pedal, and then we have a small gear in the back. Now this big gear has 40 teeth. Now, of course, if you know what a gear is, it has little teeth like this, and it's pulling the chain like so. Okay, so I think everyone pretty much knows what I'm talking about, but the big gear here has 40 teeth. This small gear in the back has 10 teeth. Now, here is the question. If we pedal uh, this big gear five times, in other words, we're going to do five rotations here of this big gear, how many times is this small gear right here going to turn? All right, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to walk through all the steps to solve this problem in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I've been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we have this bike. And of course, we have two sets of gears. We have the big gear here and the small gear. And then, of course, we have the chain that connects the two. So this pedal here, we're going to uh, basically pedal this big gear five times. So this thing is going to rotate five complete times right here. So this big gear, again, has 40 teeth. The small gear has 10 teeth. So if we do five uh, rotations, pedal this big gear five times, how many times is this small gear going to turn? All right, so let's take a look at the complete solution right now. So the first thing that we want to do here is just use some common sense to make sure we understand which direction this problem is going. In other words, we have this big gear right here with 40 teeth and this small gear right here with 10 teeth. So if we rotate this uh, big gear one full time, is it going to make this small gear turn one time as well? Or is this small gear going to turn more than one time? Now, if you can't see uh, the answer to that question, you know, just your mind's eye, you can use kind of an exaggerated situation. So what if we had this tiny small gear and this huge gear right here, and they were connected by uh, some chain? So here, hopefully you can see that if we rotate this gigantic gear one time, it's certainly, go certainly going to make this smaller gear turn more than once. So the main idea here is that this small gear will turn more than one time based upon one revolution of this big gear. So the question is, how many times is this small gear going to turn for every one revolution of this big gear? So this really brings us to the main uh, topic of this video, and that is something called gear ratios. So we need to look at the gear ratio here, and uh, once we understand that, solving this problem is going to be very easy. So what is a ratio? Well, basically it's a fraction where you're comparing the same unit of measure in the numerator and the denominator. So here we're going to be uh, we're going to be comparing uh, the number of teeth with the big gear and the small gear. So that is a ratio. Now ratios are not the same as something called a rate. Oftentimes people confuse these. So you have rates, ratios, and proportions. In a rate, uh, the deal here is that the units of measure in the numerator and the denominator are different. So this uh, would be uh, something like uh, 60 miles per one hour, all right? So here we're comparing distance to time. A ratio, again, is where the units of measure are the same. So we're talking about teeth and teeth. And when we're talking about gear ratios, oftentimes you'll hear the word two, like a one to four gear ratio, things like that. So when you hear that word two, uh, it basically is going to be indicating that you're dealing with the ratio. When you hear this word per, that means that you're going to be dealing with a rate like 60 miles per one hour. Okay, so let's take a look at this simple math. This is not that difficult. So the gear ratio here is simply going to be a comparison to the number of teeth uh, between these uh, or uh, 
comparing the number of teeth of these two gears. So we can compare the front teeth or the front gear t uh, number of teeth to the rear gear number of teeth, or we can uh, compare the rear uh, number of teeth to the front number of teeth. It doesn't really make a difference. So uh, let's uh, compare the front number of teeth to the rear number of teeth. So that means uh, we have to go back up here and say, oh, okay, that front gear has 40 teeth and that rear gear has 10 teeth. So this is how we're going to calculate the gear ratio. So it's a real simple comparison. So we have the front teeth over the rear teeth. So that's going to be 40 to uh, 10, 40 to 10. So the gear ratio here is 4. So what does that mean conceptually? Well, what that means is that for every one revolution of the big gear, the small gear back here will turn four times. Okay, so now that we understand the gear ratio, solving this problem will be very easy. All right, so the question is, how many turns is this rear gear going to uh, make if we pedal this big gear five full complete revolutions? So let's figure that out right now. But uh, before we do, let's have you hit that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're gonna do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Now, if you like learning math and if you really wanna learn math from me, you gotta check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. Okay, so let's take the final step here to solve this problem. Now that we understand we're dealing with a one to four gear ratio, in other words, for every one revolution of the big gear, it's going to rotate that small gear four times. Well, answering this question is going to be very easy. So uh, really what we're dealing with is a factor of four. So if we rotate the big gear once, well, one times four, of course, is four. That small gear is going to rotate four times. So this is how you kind of use gear ratios. So for example, if we rotate the big gear twice, how many times is the small gear going to rotate? Well, that would be just four times two or eight. So the question here is how many times or how many turns is that small gear going to make if we pedal the big gear five complete revolutions? Well, clearly the answer is going to be four times five, which is 20. Okay, so hopefully you learned a little bit about gear ratios. And if you got this right, well, you definitely get a nice little happy face and A plus a 100%. And uh, again, never forget to use common sense when it comes to problems in mathematics. So even if you didn't know the math here or if you didn't understand gear ratios, if you could kind of figure out, well, if I rotate this big gear once, it's going to make th uh, the small gear rotate you know, more than uh, one time. And if you kind of play around with the numbers here, you could have uh, taken a good guess, but uh, hopefully you now understand the math when it comes to gear ratios. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.